Hello and welcome to the Skyvia data flow series. Today's topic is target component. In this video, we will demonstrate how target component works and we'll show you how to effectively use it in your data integrations. Target component is used to modify data in a data source and create logs if needed. It uses connection to choose a data source and modifies its data based on selected actions. There are custom actions that are specific to certain connections and four actions available for each connection by default insert, update, delete, and execute command. Let's check each of them on the examples. In our first example, we insert contacts from a database into Salesforce. To insert data into Salesforce, click on target and select Salesforce connection. Choose insert action and contact table. You can see that there are three more options available, property, returning, and parameters. Use parameters to open the mapping editor and define columns to insert into Salesforce and the way to map them. You can use auto mapping to automatically map columns with the same names. You can have other columns manually if needed. Target component has two outputs, regular and error. All successfully loaded records are directed to the regular output, while failed records are directed to the error one. Target component adds a column with the error message to the scope of the error output. If you want target output to contain IDs or other data related to the newly inserted records, use returning option. It can be useful if you want to update source with the newly generated data in target. Let's get contact ID and add it to the target output. To do so, select ID from the returning dropdown. There can be cases when the name of the returning data matches the name of the current output data. To fix this, you can add your returning data to the target output as a nested property by using the property option. To do so, enter the name of the property in the property box. As you can see, ID has become a nested property of the contact details object. Insert is not the only action available in target component. Let's check the case of updating data in target. In this example, we are getting contacts data from SQL Server, enriching this data with a lookup component and updating Salesforce contacts. Let's have a closer look at target component. We use Salesforce connection, update action and specify a table to update. Note that if you are updating data in a database, you can use keys parameter that defines fields by which input records and target table records are matched. This parameter is optional. If you don't set it, the primary key fields will be used for matching. Sometimes instead of adding or updating data in your target data source, you may need to delete it. Target component allows you to do so. Let's delete some leads from Salesforce. To delete records in the target data source, open target component details, select Salesforce connection, delete action, and leads table. Open the mapping editor and map the fields. Besides the actions we already reviewed, Skyvia allows you to use the execute command action to apply custom changes to data in the target data source. For example, you may use a stored procedure in ZOA projects to create new client contacts in the portal. To do so, select an execute command action and enter your stored procedure there. Stored procedures are specific for each data source. You can learn more about them by visiting the link in the description to this video. After you entered the stored procedures code, use parameters for mapping. We hope this tutorial helped you better understand how target component works and how to use default actions to manage your data in target data source. In case of any target component related questions, feel free to drop us a comment below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.